How to make venison steak. How to make venison steak. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Bring a touch of class to your kitchen with this recipe for venison haunch steaks with potato and celeriac gratin from award-winning chef Sophie Wright. This recipe serves four and there's a recap of the ingredients at the end of the film. Step one, reduced cream. The first part of this recipe, we're going to make the cream to cook the gratin. So that is a couple of sprigs of thyme. Don't worry about uh, taking the stalks out, it's fine. Just slice a couple of cloves of garlic, put that into your pan. 75 grams of butter, just reserve one bit and you'll understand why later. And you've got 150 mils of double cream. Just put it on a low heat, you don't want to boil it, you just want to slowly simmer it just so all the flavours infuse. So keep it as low as you can. Quite a good idea to season it with some pepper at this stage and you'll season it again afterwards. And just a little bit of salt. Step two, gratin. Okay, the next part, I'm gonna show you how to prepare a celeriac. To peel it, to take the outer skin off, using a serrated knife, the best way to do it is just to start at the top and work your way round, like you would with the pineapple. You can do this with a peeler, but it's gonna take you a lot longer. And there you go, that's the piece you use. For the gratin, we're going to make individual ones, but you can make one big one if you like. The smaller ones, the individual ones cook quicker, which is good. Now with the butter that you left over, just rub each ramekin. All right, now to do the celeriac, normally you would do big slices, but because these ramekins are quite small, we're going to cut it into quarters so it fits in nicely. So just cut it in half, cut it in half again, and then just slice it. It doesn't have to be really thin, but the thinner the better, really. I'm also going to run a little bit of potato through it. So the same principle, just peeled and sliced. You take your ramekin. First layer, put celeriac. All right, now once you've got your first layer, with the cream that's been infusing on the stove, you can see now the butter's melted, but it hasn't boiled. Now just tablespoon at a time. Just spoon in some of the cream and season each layer. It's really, really important to season in between each layer with salt and with pepper. So you do the same as what you did with the celeriac with the potato. So just go round in a circle like that. Press it down. If the cream doesn't seep out of the sides, it means you need to add more. So again, about a spoonful and a half at a time. And you go with the celeriac. Push it down, season it again, more pepper. I can't see the cream, so I'm going to add some more. You do pretty much add it each layer. If you were doing a bigger one, then it would seep more, more easily. And now another layer of potato. You can overfill these a little bit because as they cook, all the ingredients shrinks quite a lot. Make the last layer a little bit neater if you can. Final twist of pepper and salt. Final bit of cream over the top, just so it doesn't dry out. Put them all in your tray and put them in the oven at about 180 degrees for about 30 minutes. Obviously the bigger they are, the longer they take. And if they start to over colour a little bit, just cover them with some tin foil um, just to stop them from browning too much. Step three, steak. After your gratins have been in the oven for about 15 minutes or so, you can think about cooking your venison steaks. So to do that, just season them well with salt and pepper and have your griddle pan or your frying pan heating up. You want quite a hot heat. So season it quite generously. Put your meat to your pan. Lay it in oil side down. Now these steaks won't take very long to cook. You're looking at about six minutes for rare, about eight for medium rare, and about 10 for medium to well. Okay, so now you want to turn them over. Okay, now that your venison um, has had three minutes on this side, just turn it off. You need to leave them to rest on another plate because we're going to deglaze the pan and make our sauce. 
So to declaze your pan to make your sauce, you put the sauce just on a low heat, take your red wine, and you're going to hear a sizzle, pour it all in. Turn the heat up at this stage, and let it bubble away. As the wine starts to bubble, it will knock all the nice bits off the bottom of the pan. Add your stock. Just let that simmer away for a couple of minutes. Taste it for seasoning, and then you're ready to go. All right, so now that your sauce has started to boil and thicken like that, just turn your heat off, just strain it into a jug, just to take out any bits that might be in there. And all of the juices that's come off your venison as it's been resting, just pour them into your sauce. Now that your sauce is done, your dauphinoise should be ready. You want it quite golden brown on top, bubbling a little bit. Just take one of your lovely big venison steaks, put there on the plate, and just a drizzle of the sauce. You don't want much, it's not a thick sauce. It's just for a bit of extra seasoning. And there you go, perfect on the side just with some spinach or some broccoli or some curly cow, really nice evening dinner. Venison haunch steaks with potato and celeriac gratin. Done.